Hello, Your Honors. Welcome back to Soul Horoscope's weekly update. From my webcam to yours, I'm Christopher Wotecki, your host to the universe. And a couple announcements. One, she's finally available. That's right, the Moon Goddess Monthlies. This is a video horoscope for your moon sign or your emotional state of awareness. You have to know your moon sign so you can buy the right one. But if you don't know your moon sign, you can text us, Moon Goddess, to 96362, and she will text you back. But this is for $4. It's downloadable, and it's really good. Also, Nikki Bright has her classes coming out on Thursday, and she's uploaded a video at soulmart.me that was an open house. A lot of people had questions about what this is about. Come on down, check out Nikki Bright. She's got more for you. And if you want to jump into your heart chakra, Nikki Bright is the best I have found yet on earth. Now it is your birthday period, and you're going to graduate a two-and-a-half-year transit of upgrading your ego. We call it Libra 2.0. It has not been easy. If you notice, the Earth is way out of balance. That's because Librans are out of balance in, them, in their own life. You have allowed uh, people usually to take more than they deserve, frankly, to keep the peace. And so a lot of Librans are growing a spine. They're getting strong. They're going to say no, which is good. And some, in some cases, are going to say yes. Maybe some Librans have been afraid to participate. But either way, it's a very exciting time because Earth is now going to move forward, I believe, and hopefully you have found your inner ability to stay at peace. That's really what it's about. Now, when you are a Libra, the give-receive energy is your entire ego state of awareness. Your whole ego is based on that balance, giving and receiving. And in the beginning of your birthday period is really about letting go of ego faults or ego weaknesses or ego whatever. Pick whatever light work word you want. <laughs> but it was in the way where you were in your own way, where your own ego was in your way, and maybe your ego built a certain way to protect yourself from childhood, but now that was in the way. Either way, it was time to let go of that. This week, we're stepping into when your ego acts or doesn't act. This turns into personality. This turns into willpower. This turns into strength. So actions and ego. And by the end of the week, you'll be committing to an action engineer plan and uh, your action engineering or your when to act and when not to act. And then we move into the master shui of charisma, which is personality with action as an intention. The highest form of ego is our really our charisma. All right, that said, so we come back and overlap on Sunday. Mercury rules the day, but you are career focused. The moon in Cancer brings emotional focus to career, decision, legacy. This does include children for those of you who are raising children. Uh, that is part of your legacy. And this yod, which I talked about the last week in the overlap, is a big part of the day. It's really time to... Uh, innovate the way you relate to yourself and therefore others but innovate the way you relate to yourself and what allows you to innovate is venus over here an inner faith and mercury now in scorpio knowing what you're worth so faith plus knowing what you're worth is why you can go and renegotiate how you relate to yourself and maybe even marriages and other people excuse me sorry about that my God, I cannot start over now. Then on Monday, Venus rules the day, which means it's going to be giving and receiving in the best way. Your ego will be empowered. You'll be very shiny, sunny, and professional. The moon in Cancer makes you very passionate about certain decisions. And Venus, your home planet ruling the day, really gives you that charisma and tenacity to restore balance and order in your life. So Monday's a day to restore balance and order. Now, the planet, something I want to point out, is that Mars has now moved into Sagittarius, which means you're going to be very active in the mind. You're going to be very chatty. It's time to go out and promote yourself. So you now have the green light to go promote and self-promote as necessary. You're feeling that probably as of Monday. Then on Tuesday, it's a very passionate day, sunny and on the ball. Neptune rules the day, so listen to your intuition. You want to log into your higher self and let your higher guidance tell you where to go. Because you're working on actions and when the ego takes action, you definitely want to check your intuition on Tuesday before taking action. But the real prize is this soul pyramid in fire, which unites your light. Now, the moon in Leo makes you very focused on your social where you belong. So you are feeling where you belong and you are feeling your message with Mars and Sag. And then this comes to the new relationship. So uh, you are feeling a new marriage to the world, a new relationship, or you're feeling your marriages go up to a higher level. And the reason why you can elevate those two levels is because you're feeling where you belong in the world and you're feeling your message at the same time. Now, another point of this day is this trine between Jupiter and the sun come to a final resting place. Jupiter has been pushing you to grow and learn. You can't learn it all in one year, but there's been a real uh, nervousness between do you know enough? 
And now you can finally say, yes, I do for now. So you have that piece come to mind, I think, on Tuesday. And then finally, uh, Venus in Virgo at 7 degrees, Pluto in Cap at 7 degrees. These come to a final head, this trine. And this is your inner faith uh, transforming into a sense of security. So inner faith creates security. So Tuesday's a great day. It's almost like a day that you're kind of prepping for your real birthday feelings, like all that inner stuff is changing. On Wednesday, you're sunny and very social. Saturn rules the day, so it's a decision day. This is a day where using your intuition, you're going to decide and commit to an action policy, to your engineering of action when you act and when you don't act. This is a part of your personality building here and your ego consciousness. So uh, Wednesday, you're deciding what you're going to aim for, what you commit to with personality. You are feeling your place in the world because the moon is in Libra. And I just want to point out this array where uh, Mercury at 8 degrees is aligned with the decision. So as you are deciding who you are, you are also deciding what you're worth. It is who you are and what you're worth while you feel your place in society on Wednesday. Then on Thursday, it's sunny and quite sharp. So another good day. Action rules the day. It's time to take action, time to go for it, time to put that ego into action. Prove to yourself you're worth the action. You want to put it and move forward. I think you're feeling very sharp. The moon is at first very social, but you probably want to do your action at the beginning of the day because by the end of the day, the moon will then start to move into the subconscious and become more cloudy for you. Notice this whole array going on, though. It's really fascinating. You are feeling uh, where you belong. This turns into faith. This turns into ego. This turns into, this turns into value, and that turns into putting out the word. It's just all lining up uh, for you, I think, in a good way. Then comes Friday. Now, Friday is groovy because it is Love Fest Day, the most loving day of the month. In your case, Love Fest Day is happening subconsciously, you loving yourself in a powerful spiritual way. So Friday is a very powerful spiritual day, I think, for the Libra race. Now, uh, getting a close look at the planets, if you don't know, Love Fest comes from the moon conjuncting Venus. So emotions hit the giving and receiving agent. Venus is, you know, the Libra energy. What it, Venus is how we determine how much giving and receiving. The moon has gone all the way from Mama and come back to Venus now. So this is a point where your emotional life can restore balance. So it's, you feel great. And because Venus is the prism of love on Earth, we can la uh, log into love. Now, in your case, this is all subconscious. Librans are feeling a quiet, private, uh, inner faith resolve, I think, on Love Fest. And that Venus at 11 degrees literally is a healing degree, a very powerful degree. Uh, the other thing that comes to a final breaking point is any fears you have between this inner faith and knowing enough. So knowing enough was another problem in that regard. It doesn't matter, you have faith anyways, even if you don't have all the information at your fingertips, it's you, you will make it after all. That's also part, I think, of Love Fest Day for you. Then on Saturday, we move into the master Shui, and the moon moves into uh, maybe a minor test of faith followed by graduation. So it's sunny and cool by the end of the day when the moon moves into Libra, a very passionate day. We're also moving now into charisma. You've worked through all the basic elements of ego building. Now we can start to assume you will succeed. You can start to let rest back on your charisma laurels and begin to allow your passion to take over your new Libra 2.0. So we're going to see a different Libra out on the prowl if it's your birthday weekend, I think. You're all testing out your new master shui. The only thing I want to point out here is that the moon is heading for the sun on new moon, which is like cast day on Monday. So just want to point that out right here. Then on the overlap Sunday, fun day Sunday, Jupiter rules the day, and you are super cool this Sunday. The moon is in your sign. You are feeling it. Jupiter's optimism. Now, Jupiter is retrograde, so that's inner optimism and inner growth. So it's, again, a private moment with yourself, maybe not so public, but you are feeling, I think, amazing. The planets do show uh, a great lineup, and what's most sin significant about Sunday is that Saturn is now one degree Scorpio. So we officially begin the karma of you claiming what you're worth. You have official permission to start asking for what you're worth with Saturn at one degree there. And so I think that just further empowers a Libra 2.0, just further gives you some reason to be passionate. Venus at 13 degrees Virgo says you'll probably have some concrete evidence of your inner faith. So perhaps a miracle for Librans on Sunday is part of your birthday present for those who've done their work the last two years. All right, that's all I have for this week, Your Honor. But don't forget, we've got free office hours Monday through Friday. We've got videos you can buy for less than five bucks. We've got GA that'll watch your butt seven days a week. There's no excuse not to graduate Libra 2.0. I'll see you in seven days with more. Until then, the blood be. What does it take to find love these days, huh? What's your greatest strengths? How do you love? I'll tell you, all the nuance is about you. Dating, what kind of gifts you want, what kind of marriage you want, what kind of person you want to live with and don't want to live with, and of course, how you love, how you lust, what you're drawn after, who chases you, and your greatest lesson, which is often a weakness.
Your birthday love and lust report has that answer. We'll reveal your secrets on video at secretsofbirthdays.com. Oh, 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 oh,